get your space set up. Make sure that you have your ball. Make sure that you have seven cones or objects to act as cones. Going to have an awesome session today. Very special guest who will introduce shortly. Just get set up just a few more seconds here. Make sure everyone gets connected, gets in, and then off we go. Hope everyone's had a good week and is having a good Friday so far. Weekend coming up. All right, so welcome back to our live skills clinics. Uh, thanks for everyone who's come back and welcome to those joining us for the first time. Uh, another great session today, which will be focused on, on shooting, finishing, but Coach Amy will talk more about that. Uh, glad to have her back. She's done an excellent job with these. And today, Coach Amy will be joined by a very special guest, Shannon Wooler from Canada's Senior Women's National Team. Uh, excellent player, has played all over the world. Uh, you'll have a chance to ask her some questions at the end, so make sure that you stay right until the end to ask Shannon some questions. So we will now get into the session. Here's a quick look at what we're doing today. Again, a ball, uh, seven objects as cones, uh, and it's focused on shooting finishing. So without further ado, I will now pass it off to Coach Amy to get us going. Hi everybody, it's great to see you all again. I love, I look forward to these Friday afternoons every single week. Uh, seeing a lot of familiar faces and it's awesome to see you guys come out every session and try and get better, especially in times like these. So obviously Ollie's gonna join us today. Let's see how long he lasts on the couch. Um, but today's session is all about shooting um, and actually more specifically finishing. So the difference between shooting and finishing Finishing is actually in kind of tighter range and you're gonna be using the inside of your foot, okay? So we're gonna be doing a couple of different progressions and then as we always do, we're gonna finish with a challenge, okay? Where you can try and beat Shannon and then you can try and beat each other and your own score, okay? So we'll try that one a couple times. So just without, um, before we get started though, I just wanna see Shannon here and let everybody give a big wave. So we're so thankful for Shannon to be on the call today. Um, she's going to be demoing some of our exercises and she's also going to be adding in her expertise and coaching you all through it. All right. So we'll, we'll get started right away. So what we're going to do instead of doing our every, uh, our weekly passing against the couch warm up, we're actually going to do a different type of juggling warm up. Okay. So in your space, you're going to start by juggling with both feet, but you're going to include a bounce. So again, usually I demo, I'm not gonna demo this one, but Shannon's gonna show us how to do it. And then you guys can get after it. And we're gonna juggle for 50 touches or more and just get really warm. All right, Shannon, why don't you show us how it's done there? Just with a bounce in between every touch. Perfect, so good. So as you guys can see, she's moving her feet and she's adjusting to any type of bounce you might find. Obviously with us being in our houses, some of the floor, is not that easy to bounce the ball off of. So you need to be able to adjust. All right, guys, so get going on that. Try that one out. Try that one out. Perfect. Even if you're really, really good at juggling, try using a bounce, because it adds something different. It changes it up. It makes you really have to adjust underneath it to be able to get that ball back up on the next touch. Good stuff, Cass. Pass from Winnipeg, awesome to see. Well done, boys, good stuff. Nice, good job moving your feet there. Well done, Simon, awesome. Come on, Lily, keep it up. Oh, very good, that touch is nice and close. Oh yeah, good control. Nice, that's an awesome job. Quinn, well done. 
rocking out to some uh, beats there. I love it. Good stuff. Good. Hey, Marcus in Vienna again. You guys are at every session. I love it. Good work, you guys. Marcus, you've got that juggling down pat. Same with you, Vienna. Look at that skill. Shannon, look how close they touch the ball. It's not running away very far from them, hey? That is really impressive in the small space. Good job, Marcus and Vienna. Good job, Tiago. Well done. Keep it up, guys. We're going to go for about 30 more seconds. Get as many touches in as you possibly can. Try and get a ton of more touches in. Job, Darren. Try and keep that ball really nice and close to you. We don't need to kick it super high and touch it a little bit closer to the ground when it bounces. Quartz, well done. Quality stuff. Good. Can everyone progress to using no bounce now? Try doing it without a bounce. Start juggling without a bounce. Why don't we, Brandon, just show Shannon doing that for a little bit now. Just juggling without a bounce. There we go. If you need a bounce, go ahead, but really try. Just give it a go. This is where we're able to make mistakes and try something new. Kellen, that's amazing. Good stuff. Sasha and Dimitri. Dimitri loved the jersey. Quality. You guys are very, very good. Very good at juggling. Good work, Chloe. Oh, wow. Good job, Chloe. Nice tight control. Good job, Devlin. That's awesome. Look at that control. Nice and tight to you. Well done, you guys. If you've mastered that, can you go in sequence? Right, left, just like Devlin's doing. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, if you need to have a bounce, you can definitely still include a bounce. But try to do that sequence. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Without breaking anything in the house, guys. There we go. Yes, well done. Keelan and that. Awesome. Wow, there is some uh, real skill, real skill out there. Well done, you guys. See how many you can do in a row. Try not to let the, drop, the ball bounce or drop if you can. But again, no problem if you need to get a bounce in the middle there. Good job, Elijah, in the basement. Not hitting anything. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. Oh, everybody, come on in. Come on in. So we'll just, Brandon, we'll just go back on me and we'll progress through um, to the first activity because I know all of you guys probably want to get into the actual shooting, right? Thumbs up if you actually want to do some shooting today. Yes? Perfect. Fantastic. Okay. I'm in a very small space. So when you're setting this up, feel free to make this a little bit bigger, okay? Depending on how much room you have. All right, guys? So as you can see here, I've got one cone a little bit away from the couch. Or again, if you have more space, you can back it up. And then I've got two markers against my couch or my wall, okay? And those markers are marking where the corner is. So see how I have a little bit of space between the cone and the edge of the couch, okay? And on this side, I've got space between the edge of the couch and the cone, or what I'm using obviously is coasters because I don't have cones, okay? So what you can just do is go set that up for yourself right now if you haven't already, okay? So go put those three cones out. 
I'm just gonna move so you can see what I've done there. So Brandon, Daniel's raised his hand. I don't know if we wanna ask Daniel if he has a question. Sure, one second. Daniel, did you wanna ask your question out loud? Uh, no, it was an accident. I okay. No problem, buddy. Okay, guys, so we're gonna go right into this. I'm gonna show you what to do, and then Shannon's gonna actually do a proper demo. Because again, I'm in a really small space, which some of you are as well, and then Shannon's gonna show us at a much faster speed, okay? So you're gonna start away from the first cone. You're gonna dribble up to the cone, and you're gonna do some sort of move before the cone. So say I do a step over, and I touch it out, now, once I'm past that cone, I'm going to take a shot. And I'm looking to finish between the edge of the couch or the corner of the couch and the cone and the corner of the couch and the cone on the other side. So again, right in the corners. But again, we're working on finishing. So we want to use the inside of our foot to finish or looking to finish across and go into the opposite side corner. Does that make sense? Yeah? So again, I'll show you a little quicker. I'm gonna dribble up, I'm gonna do a move, and I'm gonna let this finish. The cone, and the corner of the couch, or the corner of the wall. All right? Shannon, why don't you just show us how that's done a little bit better? Perfect, so she's doing a move, and she's looking to finish. So what we want you guys to do, is we want you guys to use your right foot, go right 10 times, and then go left 10 times. So after every shot, you're gonna reset. Does that make sense? Yeah, big he nodding heads. Perfect. Thumbs up if you can. Great. Awesome. Good stuff, Zoe. All right, guys, let's give it a go. Job, Gialetta. Well done. Oh, quality, Lily. Good job. Nice. Good job, Lily. Really good accuracy, Garrett. Well done. I love the little fake, Logan. Good job, Logan. Well done. The move is really realistic. Good stuff. Beckham's got the best setup for this. Oh, yeah. Good job, Beckham. <laughs> Good speed. Very, very nice and quick. Job, Alexander. So when you're finishing, you're using the inside of your foot, which is fantastic. And really try and follow through towards where you're aiming. Follow your foot through to the target, which is the corner. Good. Well done. Good job. Good job, Alexander. Nate, that's looking really, really good. So make sure we're using our right foot when we go to the right side and our left foot when we're going left. We want you guys to try and use both feet, okay? Let's see what you can do, Colin. Oh, perfect. Uh, good job, Colin, good follow through. Once you finish 10 and 10, come on back to the screen, you guys. Come on back. Perfect. Everyone's pretty much done. Great. So, guys, I just want to talk a little bit about some coaching points here, and we'll do that again, okay? So, one thing is that if we do the move and we take our touch too far away from us, we have to chase the ball before we can finish, okay? So, when you do that move, you have to take a, a touch out of your feet, but you don't want it to be too far away, okay? That touch should be at an angle in front of you so it doesn't get caught up in your feet as well, all right? 
so that you're able to actually finish and strike through the middle of the ball to keep it low, okay? So just so you can see, when you're coming up to the cone, again, you want to be doing your move at a close enough distance from the cone, which would be a defender in a game. Then you want to take your touch a little bit out of your feet at an angle, but if it's too far, it runs away, right? So you want to take a little touch to be able to then finish, okay? When we follow through the ball, try to follow through exactly where you're aiming. So if it's across the goal, you're going to need to follow through across your body. All right, does that kind of make sense? Yeah, how about we go for a minute? So you're gonna do 10 on your right, 10 on your left, and just keep going, and we're gonna work for a minute. All right, here we go. Shannon's gonna add some of her expertise into this little bit here. Go ahead, guys. Same thing, and now we're doing it at an even quicker pace. Good job, Simon. Oh, I love that little ball. Perfect. That's great for this exercise. Yeah, great touch, Jade. Good setup. Dayton, really good. Can you challenge yourself by now trying to finish on the opposite side? So instead of when you go right, try to finish in the left corner now. Okay, give it a go. Yes, there you go. Good job. Good work, Eddie. Really trying to aim for those corners, guys. Job, Sahana. Well done. Really good. Oh, yeah. Great finish. That's the sweetest setup. If only I had that in my little apartment. Me too. Yes. Nice touch, Tony. Good follow through. Here we go, boys. Let's see it. Good job. Job, Zosha, well done. Yes, yeah, good setup touch, Zosha. Ooh, love that little move. Raquel, fantastic. She had to move her furniture like I did. It's all over the place. Well done. <laughs> Making it work. Oh, nice finish, Wyatt. Job, guys. We're going to go for 10 more seconds. 10 more. Get as many in as you can. And time. Come on back in. Come on back in. So just by a show of hands, who feels like they're getting a little bit better at their accuracy? So they're able to actually aim in the corners now. Better than the first time you did it. Perfect. I'm seeing a lot of hands come up. Chloe, good. Awesome. Zoe as well. Yanis, well done. Okay, so guys, what we're going to do is we're going to have a little bit of a water break now, and then we're going to go straight into the challenge. Okay. So get a sip of water. And this is when we're going to do, I believe the quiz question about Shannon. All right, everyone. So Shannon's had an awesome career, not only playing for the Canadian women's national team, but also playing in a number of countries, but which of these countries did Shannon not play in for, for a club team? We'll let you guess first. Uh, and then, then we'll have Shannon give you the answer. So for those watching on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook, we've got Germany, Sweden, Iceland, Ireland, and Norway, some pretty cool countries. And Shannon has played in four of these five. Which one did she not play in? Let's see. 
They might be surprised, Shannon. Uh, can you reveal the answer? The correct answer is uh, Ireland. I have played in all Germany, Sweden, Iceland, and Norway, but not Ireland. Some people might be surprised that you played in Iceland. What was that experience like? Oh, it was amazing. They have such a cool uh, football culture there, and uh, it's a really great country. And just in a few words, what about Germany, Sweden, Norway? What's it been like to play all over the world? Uh, I mean, it's been an amazing experience. Every country, you learn something different. Uh, and obviously, like, I mean, football in Germany is, like, big time. So that was pretty cool. Awesome. All right. Well, we'll go back to Coach Amy. And remember, stay until the very end, and you can ask Shannon some questions. Okay, guys. So, um, Brandon, I see that Zach and Hayden raised their hand. I don't know if uh, maybe you want to message them. Just check what's up there. Um, so, guys, we're going to get right into the challenge now. You're going to need a few more combs. So you're going to need two more combs. All right. You're going to set those combs up in between the ones that you already have. So I think we need to exit this pole. Perfect. And now just put them in between. So now you're going to have one out here, one space between those, one here, one there, and one there. A total of technically five gates, if that makes sense. Yeah. So go ahead, go and set that up, and then we're gonna get into the challenge, guys. I'll give you a couple seconds. Okay, everyone, when you're ready, come on back in. I'm gonna explain how to do it, as well as what we do for the point system. All right? So. Between the corner of the couch and the first cone, that's going to be your highest points because that's usually where you can score goals away from the goalkeeper, right? So that's going to be three. The next gate is worth two. The next gate is worth one, which is the middle gate. And then it goes two and then three again on the other side. Does that, does that kind of make sense to everybody? Thumbs up, wave. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. So we're going to give you a time limit, okay? You're going to grab your ball and you're going to dribble to the cone, exact same thing we just did, okay? And you're going to look to finish. If you pass it and hit it into the corner one, you get three points. You get your ball, you go back, and you do it again. The only rule is that you have to go to your right and then you have to go back to your left. So you have to change back and forth. I know some of us don't love playing with our non-dominant foot, but this is the perfect time to get better at it. I don't like using my left, but this is exactly when you'd practice, okay? So Shannon's gonna go for 30 seconds and we're gonna see how many points she can get, all right? Uh -oh. So count what you think she got and then we'll give you guys a try, all right? And go. Ooh, that was a good one. Good little finish there. <laughs> Everybody has the struggle of the ball bouncing away, so don't worry. Good, about 10 seconds left. Good accuracy, perfect. You see how close her touch is to set herself up for the finish. Awesome, and time. So in the chat, guys, tell us how much you think she got. Give us a score. Oh, well, we've got about 15 to, most people think around 15, 15, 18, 16. Score. There we go. It's a great score, yeah. Wow. A oh, wow, five million or billion. I'm not sure how many Nico just said to me, but perfect. I got a 14, 15, beautiful. So guys, you're going to get a little bit longer. You're going to get about a minute to do this. All right? So definitely be 15. <laughs> And see, then we're going to go again and try and beat your own score. So I'll count you down. We're starting in five, four. Finn, you ready to go or are you just going to watch? Three, two, go. Oh, good stuff, Cass. Well done. Quality, Alexander. Nice. Great job, Alexander. 
Love that setup up there. Oh yeah, good speed, good control. Oh, I love that. One after the other. See if you can beat your siblings. Come on, guys. Really aim for those corners. That's where the most points are. 15 seconds left. Keep going. Oh, yes. Good corner shot. Whew. Nice. Good accuracy. Come on back in, everyone. Tell Brandon how much you got there, how many points you got. Write it in. We'll also uh, we'll launch the poll here as well, so you can yes, tell us perfect. the poll. There we go. And while we're waiting, Amy, I wouldn't mind finding out which of the Mobilios had the best score. Uh, let's see if we can go, go right to them, and you guys can tell us who got the best score. I did. Oh, wait, wait, we have to unmute it. <laughs> You're unmuted. Yeah, we are. What was your score? Uh, are you unmuted? What'd you get? I, I got 18 because we were shooting on a net. Okay, and... it's fine. Bella, how many points? <laughs> Six. <laughs> I got eight. Nice. Okay. Good job, guys. Great work. Great work. All right, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see. See what the results were here generally. Wow, a lot of high scores. Awesome. I got a couple written to me. We got some 41s and 35, 31, 61. That's fantastic. Good job, you guys. So we'll just put that poll away. We'll try it one more time, okay? We're gonna go for another minute. The real key here is you guys, try to aim for the corners. That's where it's gonna give you the most points, right? Try to aim for the corners, follow through to the target, and make sure that you try and beat your own score. Can you do better than you did the first time? All right, we're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, go. Juliana, really good work, Juliana. Those looks like some great corner shots. Good job, Ray. Well done. Ooh. That was pretty accurate, Darren. Good job. <laughs> Try not in a move there. Try and go and try and do a move around the cone and then finish. Job, Colin. Good stuff. Awesome, Julia. So great to see so many Academy players. And time. Come on back in, you guys. Perfect. Who, with a ra raise your hand or a big thumbs up, did you beat your last score? That's really what we're looking for here. Oh, yes. Well done, Finn. You beat your last one? Yeah, perfect. Okay, guys. Well, that's the session for today. Went by super quick as usual. But just by a show of hands, is this something you might continue doing for another 30 minutes or you might do another day? Yeah? You see, Talia and Lucas, you guys might keep doing this for a little bit. Yeah, awesome, love that. So guys, these sessions are meant to be where you can do them whenever you want, in and around your home, right? We wanna stay safe, we wanna stay home, and these are things that you can do to try and get better during this time, okay? So before we go though, nobody go away just yet, we're gonna do a question and answer with Shannon, and I believe Brandon will lead this part. So yeah. thank you so much for being here, guys. Awesome, thank you, Coach Amy. So if you have a question, you can submit it in the chat, but if you want to ask it yourself, just put your hand up and uh, we'll, we'll get Shannon to answer and we'll get, get you to ask it yourself. So put your hands up and, and we'll see what questions we get. Before we get into it, a question for you, Shannon. Someone wants to know kind of from our first exercise, what is your juggling record? 
Oh, my juggling record is 2,722. Um, that was from when I was 14. I haven't counted since. <laughs> wow. We got some shocked people here, including uh, Sophia. Sophia, we're going to go to you. First off, what do you think of that juggling record? It's amazing. <laughs> What's your question? Uh, my question is, um, you probably think that Messi and Ronaldo are the two most skilled men's player. Who do you think is the third most skilled? Oh, geez, that is a tough question. There's some good, good options there. Uh, ooh. Um, I mean, Gareth Bale's definitely had his time, time to shine, but oh, there's so many talented forward type players. Uh, Aguero's amazing. Uh, yeah. All right, we're going to go to Daniel. Daniel, ask your question. Uh, uh, what is your most memorable goal that you have scored? Well, I haven't scored that many goals myself. I'm a center back. Um, but probably my first goal in the German Bundesliga. Um, that was pretty fun to score a goal in that league. All right. Eden, we are coming to you with your question. What is it like to play for the Canadian national team? Um, it is so special. Uh, like, it's such an honor um, to represent Canada. And, like, every time I hear the anthem before a game for Canada, I get goosebumps. Clara, we are coming your way for a question. Um, what was the biggest challenge you've overcome in your professional career? Um, I think my biggest challenge, uh, I tore my ACL and meniscus um, when I was 25. And um, after that, I didn't have a club team. I was out of contract. Um, so I spent a long time just asking teams if I could come for a tryout because um, I needed to prove myself because I hadn't played in a year. Uh, and so it took me a long time to get that opportunity again before someone said yes. But then I got a chance and I went on a trial and I made the club and I moved to Germany. And so, yeah, I think that was my biggest, biggest thing I've overcome. Incredible. Very inspiring. Okay. Hannah, go ahead and ask your question. Um, when you were young, who was your idol? Like, who did you look up? Who did you look up to? Uh, I absolutely idolized uh, both Christine Sinclair and Carl Lang. Um, so yeah, I think we probably hate hearing me say that because uh, she thinks I might be close to her age, but yeah, definitely. They were my two, two biggest idols. Any defenders that you idolized growing up, Shannon? Um, I thought Martina Franco. Um, I got a chance to play with her a little bit, actually, with the Whitecaps when I played with the Whitecaps, and she was a very good, very good center back. Okay, we got Darren here. Go ahead, Darren. Do you always want to be a soccer player when you were little? Uh, yeah, I always, I loved every sport. So for a long time, I just wanted to be an athlete. And then when I was 12, I decided that I wanted to be a soccer player. All right, Liam, we are coming to you. Yay. <laughs> um, who's your favorite female soccer player? My favorite female soccer player or team? Team. Team? Uh, my favorite team, I think, is Manchester City. Nice. You got some uh, national team teammates on that team, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, some other questions. Who's the biggest soccer name you've ever met? Biggest soccer name I've ever met? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, that has to be Christine St. Clair. She's of course. one of the biggest soccer names in history. Absolutely. Uh, someone else wants to know um, uh, what which league that you played in was the toughest? Uh, definitely the German league. Um, there's a lot of really good players in that league, and every game was, like, a huge challenge. Uh, I played, like, Bayern Munich and Wolfsburg, and they're just filled with good players couple more. We're going to go to Ben and I think your sibling there. Go ahead, Ben. 
Pre-game snack. Pre-game snack? Hmm. Uh, I always eat oatmeal before a game, actually. Nice. And Porter, you can go ahead. What is your favorite skill? Favorite skill? Um, I would probably say passing, like basic pass, but it's so much fun when you can squeeze it right between a couple of defenders. Do a couple more. We've got uh, uh, one second. So Hannah, go ahead and ask the question. Um, how many times do you practice a week? Ooh, um, probably with like with a team, it's about five training sessions. But then there's always um, maybe one or two individual skill sessions, and then a couple sessions in the gym as well. All right, a couple more. Chloe, you're up. Um, what's your? Have you always played center back, or have you been like a different position? Yeah, I've been a lot of different positions. Um, when I was playing, uh, yeah, I played uh, forward for a long time, and then I played center mid for a few years as well. And then I didn't become a center back until I was uh, about 20. Two more. Milena, go ahead. What, what inspired you to be a soccer player? Um, it was actually when I was – well, the 2002 U19 World Championships was in Canada, and Canada made it all the way to the semifinals. Actually, Brandon's sister, Brittany, I think was on that team. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I just watched that, and it was amazing. And I saw what women's soccer could be like, and that's what I wanted to do. We'll end with a question from Paisley. Um, what was your first club that you played for? My very first club was in Vancouver, and it was called Douglas Park. Cool. Awesome. Thank you very much, Shannon. That was excellent. Amazing demonstrations, amazing inspiration for everyone. So can everyone get a big round of applause for Shannon for joining us today? Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. It was really fun. Cool. And now we will also go to Coach Amy. Can we get a big round of applause for Coach Amy as well? Fine. Thanks for coming, everyone. Great session today. Looking forward to next week already. All right, everyone. That's it for this week. Make sure to join us again next week, Monday to Friday, same time. We've got another amazing uh, week of training sessions, amazing guests, and make sure to say goodbye to Ollie as well. Bye, everyone. Have a good day. Bye.